Frontier have today released some tentative details about the first of the new ships that are coming to Elite Dangerous this year, the Python Mark II and I have to say there are some surprises in there. In this video we're going over everything we know and we'll give you our thoughts on what we think it all might mean. A quick recap then. On last months Frontier Unlocked livestream FDev announced that this year would see the release of at least 4 new ships into the game. They also announced that the much maligned and frankly largely ignored powerplay system would be getting a complete overhaul with that update expected sometime in the summer. There is also a brand new feature coming to the game this year that FDev aren't yet talking about. The first of the new ships which are all variants of existing ships in name at least is going to be the Python Mark II. Frontier of today released some work in progress footage of the sleek new ship variant shown in game for the first time which you can see on screen now. From the details supplied to us by Frontier I can tell you that the new Python variant will have an extra 2 utility slots over the current popular workhorse Mark 1 Python and an extra hardpoint bringing it to 6 utility slots and 6 hardpoints in total. FDev haven't yet released any more details about the interior layout of the vessel or the hardpoint sizes specifically but looking closely at the exterior of the top side of the ship you can clearly see the regular hardpoint layout of the Python Mark 1 replicated but with an extra hardpoint apparent between the two midsection class 3 hardpoints. That extra hardpoint appears to be the same size physically at least as those two class 3s either side of it. If we assume that the rest of the Python's hardpoint layout is the same and that the additional hardpoint is indeed an extra class 3 then that will give the new ship 3 class 3s on the top, 1 class 3 in the chin position and 2 class 2s positioned either side of the cockpit. Aesthetically Frontier have let it be known that the ship has taken inspiration from modern day 5th generation stealth fighters. They said that they wanted to project the impression of a fast and manoeuvrable combat vessel. They've also stated that the sleeker, smoother and more refined look of the ship marks a development in the existing De Lacy aesthetic that has allowed them to make use of advances in concepting, modelling and rendering. This new Falcon de Lacy design philosophy will be used moving forward with any potential future ships from the brand implying that at least one of the other 3 ships due this year could also be from the Falcon de Lacy shipyards. Frontier also let it be known to us that the cleaner look to the Python Mark II will make the important features of thrusters and hardpoints stand out more. It also provides a larger canvas for paint job and ship kit customization of the vessel. Obviously not a surprise but it confirms at least that FDev are definitely developing ship kits and paint jobs for the new Python. Whilst all of this is interesting for anyone planning a potential build of one of the new Pythons there were a few other details that are way more telling about what FDev have planned for the ship and perhaps even for the game in the new powerplay era ahead of us. In their release to the content creators program Frontier makes specific note that the Python Mark II has been deliberately created with the intention of being able to compete with some of the best current PvP ships in the game mentioning specifically the Mamba and the Ferdelance. FDev did say that players will undoubtedly find other uses for the Mark II but that the design focus was definitely focused towards PvP. They also mentioned that they will be giving commanders in their words quote more reasons to engage in PvP with Powerplay 2.0 end quote and that the Python Mark II will enhance that experience. There is also yet another capability of the Python Mark II but Frontier are not ready to reveal what that capability is just yet. Whilst we've obviously had combat specific vessels released into the game before this marks the first time that I'm aware of that FDev have mentioned that a new ship has been specifically designed to compete in the PvP arena against what are generally considered to be the current meta ships. Couple this with the mention that they plan to give commanders more reasons to engage with PvP with the launch of Powerplay 2.0 and that the Python Mark II is being built with the direct intention of enhancing that experience 
then it does seem that Frontier are hinting that open play and PvP are going to be important in the new age of power play when it releases later this year. This leads me to believe then that perhaps Frontier are attempting to give the PvP community the feature that they've been crying out for for such a long time that being truly meaningful PvP. At the same time as revamping the power play experience this would also give the power play community what they have also been asking for ...an effective way to counter actions that happen in private groups or in solo. At the very least incentivizing commanders to play in open when performing power play actions would afford those supporting opposing factions an opportunity to stop them. Which brings me to the currently secret capability of the Python Mark II that FDev aren't yet ready to talk about. If we assume then that FDev are looking to nudge more commanders into PvP situations with a new ship variant it follows that the new capability of the Mark II also directly serves that goal. In FDevs description of the Mark II design aesthetic they specifically mention the much cleaner lines of the Python and how they wanted to reflect the look of modern 21st century stealth fighters. The Python Mark II could in fact then be mirroring aircraft like the F-22 and the F-35 in more than appearance. Perhaps we could be looking at the first next generation stealth capable starship to enter Elite Dangerous. This then makes me question what could stealth look like in the Elite Dangerous universe? Currently in order to stop another players actions in Elite Dangerous you've got to be able to engage them directly and bring weapons to bear in normal space. That is usually achieved with use of an interdiction tether pulling the targeted ship out of supercruise. If however a ship is very hard to spot in supercruise through use of a stealth mechanism or perhaps the interdiction tether is much harder to maintain then you would have a distinct advantage in such a ship. It strikes me that the implementation of mechanics like this would go a long way to supporting those commanders that have, until now, been uncomfortable playing in open or are not as combat capable as a hardened PvPer and allow them to still participate in power play. I would guess then that the Python in such circumstances would have to be dialed back in other areas, smaller cargo space perhaps or slower in normal space or something similar. We'll have to wait until FDev lets some more details go to know for sure but either way it's an intriguing proposition and if true a very bold move for Frontier. What are your thoughts on encouraging more commanders to power play in open? What would you like to see from Power Play 2.0 and do you think the Python Mark II is a stealth ship? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe so YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything we've talked about in this video you'll find below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.